Hello Internet, I'm Matt Haas and this is Awesome Wood Things. I'm really psyched about the Star Wars movie so I made some awesome Christmas ornaments. Evan, your phone is really loud. I'm trying to do a show here. I did text my friends, it was really important. Your friend is literally standing right here. Oh well, forget about that. Aren't these awesome? Which ones do you like best? I like Darth Vader in the middle. How'd you make it? Oh, I used acrylic. I went through a lot of iterations to make this, but um, I'll show you how I made that. Dad, can you just like pay our appearance fee? Like, can, can we go? You were serious about that? Yeah. Before I pay you that fee, just know I am your father. Join me as father and son and we can take over the YouTube universe! <laughs> can we have our money? Oh, alright, dear. Teenagers. This project started with a big piece of walnut that I planed down smooth on both sides, but you can see it's way too thick. To make it thinner, I used a tenoning jig. I would have used my bandsaw, but I don't have a fence for it, so I went with the tenoning jig method. Then I'll show the epoxy method used to make the Darth ornament, and then I'll do the wood inlays at the end. Stick around, I hope you like it. Here I'm making several passes with the tenoning jig. Here are my attempts up to this point. First, I just used acrylic paint in the bottoms of these shapes, and this cast way too many shadows. It was hard to see the detail. Then I mixed a good amount of paint with two-part epoxy. This is the result. I had way too much paint. However, the paint or the epoxy is at the surface of the wood and that's the look I'm going for. So the next attempt I used a fewer amount of paint in the mixture and got this. I'm getting very close. I had some voids. The last attempt I used just a small amount of paint and it's amazing just how opaque this is. It doesn't seem like it is. And this is what I got. The last attempt I used a heat gun and that brought some bubbles up to the top. This will go over to the benchtop sander now and we'll see what we got. Almost there. That looks good. Here are the pieces as they came off the X-carve. The Stormtrooper one is really cool. My intention was to file this down flat, but my goodness, I really like it raised up like that. I might keep it that way because there's so few shapes. I think that works. And Boba Fett, he has some issues. The bit was too thick and it wouldn't carve in some areas. But the negative space, look at what I did. I don't know if you can see that. It's so paper thin. I got it dialed in to where it almost carved the whole way through, but it didn't. So I'm going to try and add these shapes manually. So I broke out the Dremel tool and I tried to, as best I could, add those lines. I was really surprised how well it worked. I just took my time. Now I add some CA glue into the bottoms of the shapes. Here I'm adding the Stormtrooper pieces. And now I take a brad point bit on my drill and very carefully line it up and drill the hole where the ribbon can go so it can hang on the tree. And then I use a countersink bit to sort of chant for those edges just to make it look nice. And here we are. These are the completed pieces. Oh, and the center one has a special feature. It's voice activated. All you have to say is, Lord Vader, I see Skywalker. <laughs> Be careful. The lightsaber will cut off anything it touches. But the good news is it'll cauterize the wound. A big shout out to YouTube user Dan for suggesting the fun icons that describe the previous project. 
Which icon should I use to describe this video? Leave it in the comments. If I pick you, I'll feature you on the next one. Thank you, Internet.